my guys. Well, it is turning into a bit of a gray chilly late winter day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gloomy. It is a Tuesday. It is March 14, 2023. So uh, I just did this entire rant and I get to do it all over again. Uh, which might be a message from the universe that uh, I am not supposed to be doing this rant. Perhaps it is a whisper from spirit that uh, I should not go there with this, with this rant. But I'm actually going to divide this rant into two rants because we are going to... Uh, we are going to tread where no Texan should tread. And that is, we're going to talk about religion and politics here on Collapse Chronicles today, which, uh, is this the first time I have ever mentioned religion on this channel? It, it's interesting that uh, just a couple of days ago, someone was asking me, where is God? in all of your ranting about doomsday, where is God? And I said, obviously God is uh, stuck somewhere in the employee's lounge, that God has been AWOL for about the last 10,000 years. Maybe God has not gotten the email that things are not quite right on this channel. And then we open the, uh, open the, the comments on my channel come on and we're going to hear from Reverend Tacos Entertainment Channel Sam what is your opinion about the whole God issue are you a non-believer do you ever discuss the God issue in Bumblebee reports back the lack of God related content on this channel answers that question but uh, Reverend Tacos is not satisfied with that so uh, he wants to hear it from my own mouth why I never talk about the God issue on this channel and I not sure this camera. I think this camera might be pointed over here. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of readjustment. I guess that's all right. All right. So uh, let me start again, and then I'm going to come back uh, at the end. We're, we're going to break this in two, and then we're going to come back with a very similar rant. Uh, about why I kind of why I don't talk much about party politics uh, on this channel, which is kind of the same reason I don't talk about God. And uh, so, uh, where to dive in to this for a second time? I ended on this note uh, in, in version one, but I'm actually going to begin here. Uh, and this is for anybody who has, uh, who has or who has not or has read what I consider to be one of the all-time great Bibles of the Apocalypse. And that would be the two-volume book called Endgame. Endgame, volumes one and two by Derek Jensen. And I think it was right off, he, he started off that whole necessary reading for anyone down in this rabbit hole where I think it was 20 like Doomer Guidestones uh, commandments or whatever he called them and I'm paraphrasing here but somewhere on the list he, uh, he touched on this subject this very subject and, and I'm going to take the same kind of cop a little bit of a cop out but not really because the, the, I agree with Derek 100% on this that all of this stuff all of this God talk 
be an organized religion or more general spirituality or whatever, that whole discussion among humanity, it, it's all fine and dandy, okay? It is all fine and dandy to have those discussions. They're not completely irrelevant, but at the same time, they, for all intents and purposes, have nothing to do with the greatest story never told, which is what is going on on this planet. All right, what your spiritual religious beliefs are, are just not germane to the most important discussion on the planet, which is what this channel is dedicated to. And it's for, and that is probably, uh, well, certainly one of the top three reasons I just don't talk about it, because it's not germane to the discussion. And, you know, and then I probably, the, the right up there, you know, close to the top, would be, it's just that this whole subject, all it does is push buttons and pull triggers when there's no reason to do it. It, it is shaking up bugs in a jar. That's what it is. People, you know, ask me about my Airbnb up in New York called Bugs in a Jar Farm. For those of you who don't understand what I'm referring to, well, literally what it is is like some, uh, you know, sadistic 12-year-old uh, future Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, you know, learning how to become a, a sadist and just going around and finding all of these bugs that are just minding their own business in their own little bug world, okay, and taking a black ant here and a red ant here, and a yellow jacket here, and a grasshopper, and, and putting them in a jar. All of these bugs that had nothing to do with each other, just minding them and shaking up the jar, and watch what happens. Watch these peaceful uh, bugs going about their business turn into these just, uh, just these attack, go on attack mode and start killing each other and it's called a PSYOP, uh, the, the infamous they, you know, wanting to divide and conquer that both religion and politics uh, are the two of the greatest ways that uh, the infamous they keeps us apart in fighting is religion and politics are, are you know, wars and, uh, and, and just the whole bit. And it's, it is one giant distraction with a capital D that ha I, I won't say religion and politics have absolutely nothing to do with, uh, with what is going on on the planet. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to sound that ridiculous, but by and large, uh, what they are are both distractions. It is a way from keeping people who would normally be, you know, getting together and talking about the biggest story in the history of humanity to bring in, uh, you know, my book written 2,000 years ago is better than your book, and, and getting in all of these big fights, who has the, you know, who has the best book, uh, and, when, and the, the, the joke about all of these books is, uh, is particularly any more than I would say a hundred years old, is that they have been so corrupted. Uh, over the years that they might, I'm going to take a wild guess, that they have absolutely nothing to do with what was originally written in the book. And so all of these books can't be right. Uh, for one thing, you know, any book that came out of the mind of a human, 
so I, 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 I'm just, whatever book rocks your boat, you know, if you can pick up one of these books, uh, if, uh, if End Game by Derek Jensen and Overshoot by William Catton uh, upset you and you can find one of these books to make you feel better, then uh, I, it's none of my business uh, what book you want to read if it helps you feel better. Now, I, I might caution picking up any book where in the first chapter the very first chapter of the book uh, is, is like talking about uh, go, go forth and multiply and establish your human dominion uh, over every one of our fellow earthlings. I might shy away from that particular book, uh, but I do like that last chapter called Revelation. But, but anyway, see, I'm, I'm already doing it. I'm already uh, punching buttons that Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles is, is anti-Christian or whatever. Uh, it's just like, I, I look at people's choice of religion kind of like, you know, their choice of, uh, of candy bar or whatever. Like, for instance, licorice, uh, or do, do you like almonds with your Hershey bar, or, 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 or what? That's what it means to me. Uh, if 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 you have found something in your life down in all these rabbit holes, and you think uh, it is bringing something to your life that is valuable and is helping you, you know, navigate the collapse of a planet, then uh, knock yourself out, brothers and sisters. Uh, I, I will sit here and preach all of these books uh, if it helps you sleep better at night. Uh, the, the only thing I, I, I just can't resist saying is uh, if you think that your choice of book, uh, your, your, your choice of uh, a religious leader, cult leader, your particular god or whatever is going to make one iota of difference to what is going on on this planet. I think you're confused. Uh, I, 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 I think you're confused about that, but the bottom line is uh, why I, you, you don't hear God uh, talked about on Collapse Chronicles because uh, it, it's just a personal decision that you should be allowed to make. We do have something called freedom of religion in this country. Uh, just don't ram your religion down my throat, uh, you know? So anyway, obviously you, you realize that I'm skirting the other issue, uh, is what do I, what does Sam Mitchell, what are my religious and spiritual leanings? Okay, you know, one the main reason I don't talk about it here is for the reason that I just mentioned that, that I don't talk about it because it has nothing to do my teeny weeny little religious or spiritual beliefs have absolutely nothing to do with what we talk about on, uh, uh, on Collapse Chronicles and the other thing is this channel I this channel as hard as this might be for some of you to believe, is not about me. There are other places on the internet if you want me to hear my teeny weeny little insufferable opinion uh, about the state of humanity and the planet, there's other places on the internet where you can find that. I try to uh, keep to the discussion at hand and, and introduce you to all other voices, but uh, since, since you're so damn interested, I'm going to do this one time. 
and then I don't ever have to do it again. Uh, so I obviously uh, am not on any way, shape, or form affiliated with any sort of uh, organized religion that has a book, that has a rule book. Uh, I, I run from, from organized religions. Uh, as I say, the, the organized religions, they, are, they were created by the bugs in a jar shakers. The religion is one of the biggest psyops in, in, in the history of mankind. It is, it is this absolute pointless distraction that, uh, that has led to more wars than even, than even politics. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually quite offended by I I any, of the, you know, any of the main ones. Okay, now the spirit, the, I guess there's this middle ground between the human uh, produced organized religions, and there's this kind of the middle ground, and you know, this would probably be the Buddhist and the Taoist and uh, all, all of those kinds of people, uh, where it's at least a little more nature based. So the more the spiritual path gets its information from nature, the, I would say, the more open I am to it, but I would say if I ever, in, in any of these religions, if I ever encounter somebody, a human being, claiming that they are enlightened, that they have found the path of enlightenment and you haven't. I run like hell. If there is such a thing on the planet as an enlightened human being, and I don't think there is, if there is a human being on this planet who is truly enlightened, the last thing that person would do is claim they're enlightened. So anybody telling you that they are enlightened, that is an indication that you're talking to a narcissist, probably a cult leader, and run like hell. So other than that little thing, so nature-based, I guess, you know, if I were to have any sort of spiritual uh, leanings, it would be certainly one of the pagan-based. I'm probably closer to a Wiccan than anything else. Uh, it would be if any spiritual enlightenment that I get is, you know, comes from whatever uh, is left of this planet that all of these enlightened uh, various Bible thumpers uh, have left uh, unruined on this planet. And uh, the, the other, I guess the other final subject on this, uh, just so, I, just so I, I, I didn't get around this, to this in my first version of this rant and so uh, and, and that is where I my personal feelings about life after death okay I have seen very little evidence of it but I have seen just enough just enough anecdotal evidence that for reincarnation, that uh, people are reborn and remembering these past lives. And th there's not much out there, but there is just enough to get me sitting on the fence. I am not ruling out reincarnation 
and other forms of life after death, I generally believe my see I was raised by a hardcore atheist my mother Elaine Mitchell was a hardcore atheist she believed when you uh, you, you know when you died it's lights out game over and all I can say is I hope to hell that she is right you know a friend of mine we were having this discussion several of us this morning sitting here and, and it came up in conversation where one of my friends was talking about that that she is 100 percent convinced that you that life continues after physical death after your body returns uh, you know ashes to ashes dirt to dirt or whatever uh, after that happens she's 100 percent convinced that that there is such a thing as life after death in one form or another which makes it easier for her and I guess for the vast majority of people to uh, it relieves some of their death anxiety what that does with me the very thought that my mother is wrong the single biggest hope in my life is that my mother is right and that when I die it's going to be lights out and game over. I will be enjoying the sound of existential dread. Uh, I will be a happy skeleton uh, dancing uh, celebrating my lights out death. The uh, I, my death anxiety. I have I, I have complete opposite of death anxiety. I have no death anxiety. I don't mean I have. Well, I, it's not that I have. No, you see what I'm saying? No death anxiety. It's it's everlasting life anxiety. The the very thought that I could be reincarnated onto planet Earth and chances are that I would be reincarnated as a rag picker in, uh, in Niger, in a landfill in Niger, uh, d d strikes absolute terror into my heart. When I go, I want it to be lights out, game over. It is a passport out of here, and people think I'm joking when I say this. Very, one of the main reasons I have not committed suicide is my fear of not having, if I could be 100% sure that my mother was right, and that it's lights out game over, I would take myself out tonight, guys. The, 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 the only the, the thing that makes me terrified of physically dying is, 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 is good Lord, just, just, just having this uh, nightmare continue. Death is a, as I say, it's a, uh, it's it, the, the sound of existential dread is, uh, is my rattling bones dancing to my freedom from this hell uh, called uh, called living this is it, 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 it's a living nightmare and uh, the sooner it's over the better but uh, but uh, all of these people on soft white underbelly wanting me to take myself out I got some bad news I'm too chicken shit to kill myself because I don't want to be a rag picker in Ghana so anyway, but uh, that's the bottom line. No religion on a dead planet. No religion on a dead planet. So uh, while we're having all of these uh, pointless, distracting, but interesting discussions about whose book is right, uh, we, we watch the planet die. Uh, good luck on uh, finding religion on a dead planet.
Anyway, I'm hoping that is going to be the last word you ever hear me say about God. If, this, if anybody ever asks me uh, about God again, I can just uh, give them the link to this video. So I'm going to break this up into two rants, and we're going to come back because I had someone ask me the question this morning. A 16-year-old asked me the question, why do I like Donald Trump? <laughs> Oh, God, Sam Mitchell is going to answer the question, why do you like Donald Trump? And uh, we're going to talk about politics, about why uh, we don't talk about politics very much on this channel. I just had a similar rant uh, a couple of months ago. We will come back, and I will try to answer the question, why do you like Donald Trump? <laughs> Coming right up. Bye, guys. Now, if I get up here and, and I find that the, uh, that the camera shut down a second time, I'm going to take it as a message from the universe, a whisper from spirit, as uh, Don Juan Matus would say, that... Uh, I should not have this rant at all on Collapse Chronicles. My guys. Yes, I know you had to listen to that twice, and now you got to listen to me answer the question, why do I like Donald Trump all over again? Bye, guys. All right. The battery did not collapse. <laughs>